So you've heard of phones running iOS, phones running Android, but have you ever heard of a phone running Linux? Today, we're going to install Linux on this OnePlus One. Stay tuned. In one of the YouTube rabbit holes I've gone down in the past, I saw a list of videos where people had installed Linux on an Android phone. I know what you may be thinking. Well, they already have phones that will natively run Linux on them. Yes, I know, but they're also either A, impossible to find, or B, insanely expensive. Considering that today's sponsor of this video is my wallet, I picked up a OnePlus One off of eBay for $60. I wanted to test Linux out on a phone, but there's a lot of caveats in doing so. Step one in this project was doing some research. After hitting up Google, I found a website, tuxphones.com, which gives you a comprehensive list of all the different distros you can run and their compatible phones. That was my first stumbling block. I didn't want to spend a lot of money on this project because my sponsor doesn't have really deep pockets. I decided to go with the OnePlus One, uh, partially because I, I got one for $70 off of eBay. Um, this phone is currently running Android 7.1.2, which you are not going to be able to see because I don't have autofocus. And because of the price, I'm not terribly concerned if I blow it up. I also decided to go with Ubuntu Touch, which you can find on ubports.com. Going over to that website, you can click Get Ubuntu Touch, and they have an installer where you just plug the phone in and run the installer. So let's do that right now. So step one is to head over to ubuntu-touch-io to download the installer for Windows. I've already got mine saved. Make sure that the phone has developer mode on, which it is. And we're going to plug it in. Select the one plus one. Install. We're going to select the stable one. We're going to wipe personal data and we're going to flash the system partitions using Fastboot. Click next. And then our files to download. Now they want me to reboot the phone holding the power and volume up button. So let's do that. Nope. Reboot. We're going to shut the phone off. All right, so now we are in bootloader mode. This is the point at which my first attempt to flash this phone fails. So then I try again using some different settings. Okay, so take two. Everything failed the first time. I don't know if the program froze or what, but we're going back into the phone. And make sure our developer options are on. Everything looks good there. One thing I would say is if you're running this on Windows, make sure that the UB Ports app is not being blocked by Windows. Mine was the first time. So as you can see, it noticed that I have a OnePlus One. So we're going to hit OS. Ubuntu touch and install. Wipe the data, bootstrap, next, rebooted, flashing firmware. This is exciting. So while this is doing this, um, I just wanted to go over some reasons as to why I'm trying this. So one, I like Linux. 
I run Linux as a secondary operating system on the computer that you can see here. Um, and I want to try it out on a phone. I've seen a lot of YouTube videos where people have run Linux on their phones. You've got the Pine phone, you've got um, Sail OS and other things like that. And it, it's really interesting to me. And as this channel is dedicated to tech that works in my world, um, I thought I'd give it a try. So it looks like we're still flashing the firmware here. If you have any questions about what's going on here, just go ahead and leave your comments down below. I do try to answer all of your questions, um, and I would love to hear from you. If you have any suggestions for the channel, same thing, comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. All right, I think it's putting the finishing touches on now. Rebooting the phone. Success. Or not. Looks like we're good to go. Now we're installing updates. Sorry if the camera cuts out during this process, but installing updates. It looks like it's good to go. Fingers crossed. We'll report an issue if there is an issue. Otherwise, I'll see you on the other side. Well, there you have it, guys. There's Ubuntu Touch on my OnePlus One. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I will have future videos with me using this phone to see how I like or do not like this phone. But if you have any questions, just leave your comments down below, and I'll be more than happy to answer them. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.